just just picture me at an ironing board. Right. You, you do you do iron. You know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's up guys? It's Max Uhas here. I'm sitting here with my buddy, my good friend, Mr. John O'Duaron. <laughs> and uh you know i know i know i haven't done a video in a while so um but this is actually really great because uh i've been working with uh, john now for what like six months now dude um has it since november fuck yeah it's been almost six months yeah because november december january it's may six months that's what's up man and um yeah so so john uh, a value um, employee evaluation as a yeah point. right <laughs> yeah, but, but, this, <laughs> but this is great. But John, John, um, John just launched uh, a Kickstarter. It's not a Kickstarter. It's a GoGo. Yeah, I, I launched it on Indiegogo, actually. Indiegogo. An Indiegogo campaign for his newest painting, which isn't created yet, you know, but it's, uh, it's, it's going to be called Parade of Imbeciles. And I watched the video, like like the promotional uh, kick, uh, Indiegogo I guess, can you say Kickstarter if it's not on Kickstarter? But I guess uh, I'd say crowdfunding campaign. Crowdfunding. I, I watched the, I watched, the umbrella. Okay. Correct. I watched the crowdfunding video and I was super impressed. And, uh, and I had to share, you know, because I think, I think what he's doing is absolutely brilliant. So, John, what made you decide to sell a painting before it's done? Or before you even start on it? Uh, well, it's not really something new. I mean, it's not something that uh, I theorized by myself. Artists have been doing it for years, for decades, for, for centuries. You know, you would uh, have an idea and then you would find patrons and then they would support you and then you'd make the painting or there'd be commission paintings. And that would be basically someone would... Uh, hired you to make a specific painting. I want you to paint uh, my wife, paint me on, the, on a horse, paint a portrait of the king, um, whatever it may be. So uh, it's not really that far-fetched and I already did something like it on a much smaller scale uh, that you're familiar with the eyes of the artist paintings that I sell. Those are the the surprise paintings. <laughs> Those are brilliant too. Yeah, where, where, where they, they come, they come wrapped up. Yeah, like, yeah, I got one of them yeah. here. Also, so yeah, people that aren't familiar, they can. So this is one of them. Basically, this is the new series. I've got. Uh, it's a series of four. I have three of them left. Uh, the new series is called Directions. Okay. So there's four directions, four paintings based off the the directions. So um, you don't know what the image will look like until you unwrap it. And the idea for that came uh, to combat how enthusiastic people are about looking at art online, but it's not the same thing as experiencing it in person, in a gallery, uh, in a museum, in the comfort of your own home. So getting back to this larger painting, uh, it's a painting that's kind of been in my head for about two years. Okay. It has a lot of cultural relevancy and especially now, just the way uh, I don't want to get too deep or, or too political in it right. because it's not that type of painting, but it does touch on um, some, some cultural uh, potency of, of things that are happening right now, you know, and uh, because it's a relevant painting, because it's been, you know, a painting that I've been thinking about, I just, I just want to do it get it out but I don't want to compromise the vision it I imagine it being a very large very detailed painting and I, I set a size because people have to know what they're buying into in the painting the size that I decided on will be two feet by three feet nice. and that's not a monumentous or uh, you know mural size by any means but I paint very detailed so it's uh, it's going to be a time-consuming one and it'll be framed as well as you know presentation so uh, the reason why I'm going with the crowdfunding option is because um, for me to spend all the time making this painting, which I anticipate will probably take about two months of production time, start to finish, so from, from concept to final painting, uh, because just making the painting itself is only half the battle. 
you have to do all the drawing and all the studies and all the prep and all the research just to get to that point. There's a right. amount of work before you can even start painting. Uh, so to spend two months on a painting that you can't guarantee that you're going to sell, that you don't have an audience yet that are, you know, uh, eagerly waiting something that large that will that, that you can sell that will compensate your time I saw thought that this could be an alternative and uh, I seen so many people you know fund documentaries fund comics um, fund picture books uh, those are all visual storytelling mediums and painting is also a storytelling medium uh, a lot of people don't always see it that way because it is one image but you're giving people um, one singular story in a, in a glorified image. Mm -hmm. So I just said, okay, well, we'll just see what happens. Um, see if anyone else is interested in the wonderful thing about Kickstarter, Indiegogo, all these crowdfunding platforms is that they're giving, they're telling you if you have an audience before you even go to the trouble of making the product, it's, it's really changing economics and, uh, I think every artist sits with this theory that they want to make artwork that people want to buy. So it's a way to kind of put my foot, you know, dip my toes in the water and say, okay, is there, is there any interest in this? Um, and I have enough of a portfolio now on my website. There's enough imagery that people can kind of see what I do. They can get an idea for what the final painting will look like. Um, it's not going to be radically different than the type of work that I've already done in the past. So, so you can kind of, uh, you can kind of visualize what it might look like. It's not going to be a complete surprise in that sense. Um, but you just, the painting isn't done yet. I'm working on it, just working on it now. So there is nothing to show anyway. Like, right. No, but that's, that's the brilliance of it too. And, and for, for anybody watching that hasn't seen, any of Jono's work like I'm a huge fan um it's what do you it's not because it what's the style did you, what did you what did you name the style <laughs> yeah the style that I came up with uh, I'm sure I'm not the first person to ever say it uh I like the term pop symbolism and that is a mixture it's a it's a fusion of pop culture imagery with symbolism right but a lot of but a lot of the the art that you create has a lot of like um, old cartoon characters and rep and like references to just everything. Like the the Gremlins piece that you did had everything from the Gremlin vehicle to the you know the Gremlin from the Gremlins to the Gremlin from the old cartoons to the Gremlin from um, what was that movie uh, the with the with the with the monsters uh, Tales from the Crypt or something or. Uh, oh yeah, uh, not till the, like the Twilight Zone. Twilight um, Zone, yeah, yeah, like like the, the gremlin on the roof, mm -hmm. on the plane. Yeah, on the plane, like like it had it had so much that it was just like, and you and you pulled it all together and made it work, which was which was the, the beautiful thing about it. And then, and and for those of you guys that are watching this, I'm gonna put the link below somewhere, maybe up here, maybe down there for uh, oh, we'll surprise you. For John's website, but you, you can check it out. Um, and yeah, you'll you'll be impressed. Like he does fantastic work, you know. Um, but yeah, but you have a very distinct style. Like, it, and for anybody that knows your work, like you can tell. Like, all right, this is something that John did, you know. Um, which which I think is great. So that that actually leaves fans, you know. Um, I'm curious, you know. <laughs> like I'm like when I saw the video, I was like. I'm curious, you know, because a title like that, mm. you know, a title like that, like Parade of Imbeciles, you know, it, it, it creates this vision in your head, but the, but the vision itself is like this dancing image of could be anything, you know, especially if, if especially with your style. And if we're going like not really political, but semi-political, if we're going like, you know, um, you know, society as a whole, like there's, Man, I'm curious. Yeah, it's, it's a title that alludes to a lot but doesn't give away anything, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, yeah, I said it's not really political, but cartoons are 
kind of a sense of yeah uh, like catharsis for me like i experience things through cartoons cartoons are a representation of our true emotions because they can be um, so extreme without offending anybody directly and uh, cartoons are uh, i use them to commentate on society and then at the same time also kind of reference what those characters stand for absolutely so it's uh the painting like i can tell people what the painting is about um it is sort of a nod to some of the stupidest cartoon characters in history and then at the same time it's also kind of questioning um human intelligence as well like just st some of the stupid things about human nature will be thrown into the painting as well as represented by cartoons so uh, I'm really excited to work on it. Oh, I'm excited to see it. Absolutely. Um, so for anybody that's interested in seeing this fantastic uh, promo video, by the way, um, actually, I'll tell you what, because I, I saw the link. The link's a little long to spell out, but uh, I'll put the link um, here across the screen, and I'll also put it in the description below this. And uh, yeah, yeah, dude, it's, it's, um, no, I'll tell you what, guys, and, and you can go to Donald's website, check out a lot of his art. It's been fantastic. You've been featured in, um, oh my God, uh, what was that, um, what was that site? Cause you've been doing art for years, like, and you've been, I mean, I know you got done with, you had the, the, the show a few months ago in, in Toronto. <laughs> Toronto. Yeah. And most recently, I was just featured on the Space Channel. There you go. Um, back in last month, beginning of April. That was a cool interview, too. That was a cool interview. I dug it. I dug it. Okay. Well, guys, I suggest, if this sounds like anything you'd be interested in, or just checking out, or if you support art and artists... You know, and you understand that real art takes time, real art takes talent, and, um, you know, and, and passion, and so much more, you know, and, you, and, you, and, you're, and you're tired, or, or you, let's just put it this way, if, if you don't even necessarily have to be tired, but, but you support artists that actually create art um, for a purpose, you know, because there is a lot of art out there that's just art, you know, it's just like decorative art and whatever you know art 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 is such a broad thing but there's um i, I know this jono does art with purpose you know what i mean art, jono makes art that makes you think you know and um yeah since i've been working with him i've had the chance to see a lot of i, I haven't seen all of his work because he keeps a lot of it secret <laughs> until it's <laughs> he yeah, really does well, I'm, I'm glad you brought all this up because that's actually um uh, another selling point of this campaign yeah, is that um, I have all kinds of different perks and rewards, you know, depending on what people want to contribute, if they want to get involved. Uh, but one of the perks that comes with everything is that you get to see firsthand um, this painting get created start to finish. So uh, I include people on, I'm going to launch a, an exclusive uh, newsletter and then, you know, once, twice a week, I'll give people updates. And then, you know, every step of the way, I'm going to show people how I'm making this painting. Um, because there's a lot of, there's a lot of pieces from my process that I just, I do not share with people. And it's not a, that they're much, it's not that they're all secretive. I just don't think they're personally as interesting, but other people might. Um, and there's a lot that I know that I'm sure I think is probably you know, second nature to a lot of artists, but it might not be. There might be a lot of artists that are like, oh, I, I didn't know you could do it that way. I, I, I didn't know about that shortcut, or I didn't know that, you know, to add that piece of the process in. That, wow, that makes the work so much stronger. That makes me think about it more. So um, while it's not a, you know, like all encompassing how to, uh, for other artists, especially emerging artists who want to make really illustrative work, uh, it could be very helpful, very beneficial, and, you know, a welcome 
questions that people have, anybody that are um, that's on board with seeing the process, you know, you can email me and say like, actually, I didn't understand that enough. Or would you be willing to show this part of the process or, to, you know, I'm happy to do it. But uh, that's, I'm not just giving it away to the public because they're all techniques that have taken me years to learn and master. And it's something that I went to school with. So I don't feel like it's, uh, I feel like it's fair to charge for that. I'm not going to disagree with that at all. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Um, the, and this is just for me, because I, I remember when John was getting ready for the show in, um, in Toronto, he had like, literally, he was like, I can't show you any of this stuff yet. You know what I mean? He's like, I've been working, I've been working on this. I've been working on this for weeks. I'm not ready to show it to anybody yet. And he's and like, literally, he's like, I'm not showing this off till I get to the show. You know, and um, and what's great, about, or he's, he's like, no, I'll show you, I'll show you a piece, and it's like this, you know, and, and it's like, and it's like, so that's what you can see, and this is. <laughs> so you can see, you Maybe can see, it was a little more than that. Yeah, well, yeah, all right, yeah. So, so it's like I'll show. No, all right, so it was, it was like this. So I was like, here, I'll, I'll show it to you. All right, there you go. And then, um, so you saw it. You know, all right, maybe, maybe not. No, but um. But yeah, but I, but I know, I know how he works and it's, it's really just friggin' brilliant. Um, like I was inspired. I was like, damn dude, like you go through process after process. Um, so yeah, so, so I, I just say this guys, it's because, um, because there's going to be a book too, right? And then, yes. and, then, oh, yeah, and, then the, and then the backers are going to have access to prints so, and stuff. And, uh, the book is one of the rewards that, uh, if you'd like to get involved, and uh, I'm only going to be printing so many. So either you get the book or you don't. You might might never ever print them again after the campaign. So, uh, but the book is you know sort of a relic that will remain of the entire process of the painting start to finish. So you can actually flip through a physical copy, or if you want an ebook, that's an option for you too. Um, and then that is uh, one way to once the painting's done, you can refer to all the steps and then just reverse engineer, you know, if you're an artist and be like, okay, cause uh, these, these are all ideas and processes that are transferable. Anybody can adopt them into their own work. If you're making illustrative, you know, narrative storytelling artwork. Uh, so that was kind of the intention of the book. And uh, I've, I'd always kind of wanted to put a book out, but, I thought maybe it's a little premature to put an art book out. Um, and by that, I mean a book with just my paintings. Uh, because I, I want to be sure. further along in my career. And there's, there's a lot more paintings in my head that I want to be in the book. And so uh, that's somewhere down the road, but not yet. I don't think it's premature. <laughs> you can do volume one. I, 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 think, I think you can always get away with volume one. Um, yeah, that's true. It doesn't have to be one. Yeah, absolutely. You know, volume one, volume two, volume three, the compilation, the remastered version. Um, damn, dude, that's what's up. And then people have access to uh, to prints and stuff, right? But only the... Yeah, so I'll, I guess I'll talk about some of the perks. Yeah, why not? Let's talk about they're perks. All, uh, they're all on the site, which will be linked, but uh, I'll just do a quick overview for, for anyone... Uh, who's interested. So uh, there's the book that I just mentioned, which will be uh, the painting start to finish. And uh, that'll include all the development of the painting. So all the sketches, drawings, studies, color studies, tonals, everything, every piece of artwork that I create uh, in the making to create the final painting will be reproduced in that book. And then uh, some other options, uh, include I'm giving deals on existing artwork so existing drawings and existing uh, uh, limited edition reproductions that I still have in my inventory and giving super good deals for people that want to pick those up uh, until the end of the campaign and I'm also giving uh, the option for people if they want to buy reproductions of the painting that's not yet completed but you can buy reproductions now and you can save a ton um, versus what the 
reproduction would cost, you know, once the painting's finished. So you buy in early and you get a steep discount. And uh, I'm offering deals on if you want to, you know, go further up the ladder, you can buy all the concept art that I uh, uh, created to create the, the, to make the painting. So that includes all the original, uh, you know, sketches, drawings, studies that I mentioned. Uh, save for the color study and the tonal study, those are separate. But all the drawings, um, thumbnailing, if you don't know what thumbnailing is, um, you know, I'm going to talk about that, but you can check that out. That's basically doing small compositional studies of your painting. Um, design, research, everything. So all the drawings, that's one option. And then up to the very top, if you want, you can buy um, the final, the, the one and only painting, the most documented painting um, that, I'll be, that I will have made to date. And then there's also combos. So you can get the book and a print. You can get the book with, you know, uh, a print to the color study, a print to the tonal study, a print to the final painting. Um, you can get uh, a copy of the book with a small drawing. Um, so there's there's some book combos as well too. And uh, if you get the book early, um, I'm offering the first 10 people who get the book, I'm offering them a discount. And then after that, um, the price goes up. So I think there's still a couple slots left. Uh, for the early bird books. Um, so if you want to get those, if you're really interested in the book, you can pick one up and uh, you can save. And all the books will be signed as well too. Nice. And when does the campaign end? The campaign ends officially June, 9th, uh, June 10th, 2017. So there's about three weeks left. About three weeks left. So there's as still of plenty today. of time for people to find out and get involved. Right on. Okay, I'm excited, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching. Um, thank you, John, for jumping on. And it's always fun. You know what I mean? I think we've had hours and hours and hours of wonderful uh, conversation, but I think this is the first time we're actually publicly, pub publicly uh, <laughs> releasing any of them. Um, we've been so secretive. We've been so secretive. We've been talking about masterminding things. Uh -huh. And doing wonderful stuff but um yeah yeah but dude it's, it's great like I, I saw the I, I really i saw the, the video and i was like holy crap man i was like for one i'm like i'm definitely gonna help promote this and for two it's like uh, i'm i don't know I actually and it's funny i know you asked me because you said somebody jumped in anonymously i haven't even like jumped on board yet because uh i don't know why I, I'm, I'm a procrastinator but um yeah but well, after, we got time. yeah like, we well, just no, I don't, no, don't want to wait because i i saw the some of the stuff that's already been released um yeah yeah and like uh i'm releasing new stuff all the time i'm doing time releases and doing updates and I'm like hey i just launched this i just that but some of the new perks that i am releasing uh there's only one like it's an original or i only have one left or uh so you know you want to find out about the the perks when they're launched uh, especially if you want to claim one of the originals mm -hmm. if you want something original at a like affordable price um you want to get it soon because it, there's only one <laughs> yeah. so yeah. Uh, yeah so anybody that you know wants to uh, find out what i'm doing you know time i just launched one today uh it's three drawings uh i have them here i'll grab them we get to see some of Jono's work he rarely so, shares any of this stuff. There's three drawings that I had for paintings that I did back in 2012. And uh, I'm going to sell them all together at a discount. If anybody wants them. And they're... Nice. So that's the first one. Creature from the Quack Lagoon. <laughs> uh, Micula. That's what's up. And the goof man. It's great, and that's it. So, a uh, combination of the you know classical Universal monsters and you know Disney characters, and it was just a fun mashup I did for small paintings back in 2012. I still have the drawings, and uh, shipping is included nice. on uh, almost all the perks for U.S. and Canada. So 
and keep that in mind when, when people are looking at uh, uh, the different tiers. Yeah, so anybody that wants to find out about, you know, the new perks that I'm launching, um, they can just follow me on social media or uh, sign up to the newsletter. That's a good way if you don't want to miss out. That's what's up, dude. All right. Uh, okay. Well, good deal, man. Uh, if guys, the links will be below here. I might type them out here. We'll see. But uh, get in and support. It's the best I could say right there. And um, yeah, John, it's been a pleasure. Appreciate that. And, um, you know, three weeks left. Three weeks left. How far along are you in the campaign? Uh, I've almost reached the thousand dollar bill. Nice. I still got a ways to go. Okay. I'm, uh, hoping to get it to five k. Okay. Okay. So we got three weeks to do that. Make it happen. Support. <laughs> 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 All right. See you guys in the next video. Peace.